Oh, hello. Welcome to the show. I'm just folding my laundry. And we've got a good one tonight. Kenny versus Spenny are here. And Lisa Loeb. Welcome to my house. Oh my God, what an audience tonight. We've got eight people. We've got eight people here tonight. Eight people. I'm really excited. First of all, we have Lisa Loeb here tonight. How unbelievable is that? You know, uh, you know, she is the only artist in the history of the world to have a number one signal, a single, uh, independent single, no record deal, number one. Right? Am I right about that? You don't know. You just, you just came with her, right? You know, you just showed up. Okay, cool. Well, that's cool. I think that's true. I read that today on IMDb. Um, we have Kenny versus Spenny here tonight. This is a particularly special show for me as a human being, uh, being. <laughs> Being Canadian, uh, I grew up in Canada, and Kenny versus Spenny grew up in Canada. They're now living here in Los Angeles. I just found out they're living here in Los Angeles now. I did not know that. And uh, so it's good to have some more Canadians in Los Angeles. Uh, we're going to have a fun show tonight. These guys have a really crazy show. We're going to look at some clips of theirs. Um, and uh, they're going to be uh, on Comedy Central with their, their show down here. And uh, you really got to check these guys out. Kenny versus Spenny. Um, Last night was a bit crazy. We actually didn't. Actually, we actually didn't go on the air last night. Um, if you have been paying attention, um, you know, to the to the seven or eight of you out there that are paying attention, we, we did not do a show last night. We um, we had a massive power failure. I don't think that was something that we caused. <laughs> I don't think it was the the lights or the the cameras or the new switcher, but uh, the entire. Half of the hillside here in the valley went out last night. It was a, a real true power failure. We, our guests showed up. Norm Macdonald was here. Uh, you know, Carrie Ann and Abra was here. They were all ready to do a show. We sat around and we drank wine in the dark. <laughs> Bobby Badfingers was here, set with a musical performance. Funnily enough, I, I, I walked into the house ready to do the show and I looked there and there was Bob, Bobby Badfingers. He's a snappist. You may know him from America's Got Talent. And he was snapping. And then I looked over and there was Frank Stallone. <laughs> he wasn't even invited. Not that, not that we didn't want him. We love Frank Stallone. I know Frank Stallone. S the sly, uh, Sly's uh, brother. Looks just like him, too. It's uh, interesting. But we whipped out our video camera and we uh, uh, turned on the night vision. So it's a little stuttery and he was playing some guitar. Let's have a look. This was last night, the power outage special, we can call this. Let's have a look at a moment of this. That's that side of the hill. And here's our side of the hill. Cower out in Green's house tonight. We are, uh, we got the night vision working. Um, we have had a power outage here. The entire hillside is out, and we're here with Bobby Banfingers, and uh, you brought your friend Frank Stallone with you. We are told town, told town about food. Fun. It was fun. It was a fun little moment, you know, hanging out with uh, Frank Stallone, and uh, he was playing some music for us, and the power was out. It was serious, you know, in Hollywood here. Power was out in the whole city. Serious in Hollywood. Ed Begley Jr. couldn't plug in his electric car. <laughs> it was a joke. We actually did a joke tonight. So, we've never done a joke before. It's actually written down right here. It's, hi it's highlighted, actually. Um, but, uh, you know, we actually have a few other things that I wanted to tell you about tonight. It's a packed show. We're very excited about the show. Um, things are going well at the show. I was actually on The Tonight Show last night, which was fun. Uh, yeah. and, uh, talking about this little show. It was cool watching Jay Leno say, you know, Tom Green's house tonight, on in select markets. <laughs> That's you. <laughs> Hello, Houston. But. Uh, we just picked up a uh, brand new thing that we're going to be using a lot here at the channel. We got a new step ladder, an expensive, uh, giant step ladder. Have a look at this thing. We have a shot of it. It's allowing us to go up on the roof, and we're going to go up on the roof later on tonight. It's a massive ladder. Look at that thing. 
It was a $634 10-foot step ladder with side rails, spring-loaded swivel casters, 24-inch uh, wide expanded metal steps. Um, actually, we just went to LAX and we stole that from the, uh, <laughs> from the tarmac. But uh, we're going to go up on the roof tonight for the first time. It's going to be a lot of fun. Um, Kenny versus Spenny are going to be coming out soon. I want to show you one other thing that, that I want to show you before uh, Kenny versus Spenny. I know they're going to be showing up any, any second. Uh, Kenny Hotz and uh, Spencer Rice. It's been raining here for the last three weeks in Los Angeles. That's, that's why the depressive mood on the set for the last... <laughs> the last three weeks. But it's been sunny today and clear in the valley. And I looked out today and I saw something I've never seen before here since living in Los Angeles for seven years. Snow-covered mountain caps. And we actually thought we'd take a little shot of it. And we are going to, for you guys, we are going to go there. And we are going, Saturday I'm doing this. I'm going to go there. I'm going to have a look at these things. Can we have a look at them? We have a video of it we shot. This is out in the deck during the day. You've never seen the channel during the day. But if you see over there the mountains, and look at the snow. Do you know there's snow in Southern California? Did you know that? These are my Siberian Huskies, Annie and Steve, Los Angeles Huskies, and they've never seen snow in their lives. <laughs> and growing up in Canada, I, uh, I've seen a lot of snow, but my Huskies haven't, and I find that a little bit sad. So Saturday, we're going to get in the car and we're going to drive all the way out to uh, Gordham or something like that. What's it called? What's the place called? We need to map quest it today. Gorman. Gorman. So we're going to go to Gorman on Saturday. We're going to take Annie and Steve to see the snow for the first time. Kenny and uh, Spenny are here at the door. I hear the doorbell. Hold on a second. This is going to be fun. These guys are awesome. Hey, guys. Come on in. Thank you. Okay, Spenny, in the car. Awesome. And we're going to go to commercial break, and then we'll be back. How you guys doing? This is awesome. We're going to commercial break. Uh, Spenny follows me here. Kenny, thanks, man. Kenny, Spenny. How are you? Very good. Very good. I'm, I'm excited. Good. I'm really excited to have I, you on the I show. I can't believe you actually this, invited us here. I'm so surprised. I am so glad you came. Yeah. And uh, come on in. We're going to commercial break uh, right he, now. He has somewhere to wait and have a drink while we're doing the show and stuff. Yeah, yeah he's not. He'll be on the show, too. Come on in. Cool. We'll be right back after this commercial. Kenny versus Spenny. Stick around. Hey, that was brilliant. And uh, that was too that bad was awesome. you threw it all up ten just, minutes later. Just yeah. to set this up for anybody who hasn't seen the show before, you guys, uh, it's uh, competitive. Uh, you're competing against each other it's uh, war. each week. It's war, war Thomas. Kind of like a spy versus spy, well, but real like, life. It's kind of like you know Winston Churchill versus Hitler. <laughs> <laughs> you know, something like that. He's can Hitler, or you're Hitler. Oh, right? he's Hitler. Oh, really? Well, I, I, actually, I don't want to insult Hitler yeah. by calling Spenny that. <laughs> <laughs> actually, I don't think it's spy versus spy. If I remember correctly, they sort of each were the same. Uh -huh. And you didn't really know who was going to win, that kind of thing. But he's well, consistently I, cheats. No, that's not true. And I consistently the, win because he cheats. Oh, my God, you don't even win. The guy that actually says he wins. I, I do. That's, you know, I do. No. I've said this. What, is this a surprise so that, to that, you? That clip there was from the, the meat special. Yeah, we did. Who, can, we <laughs> who, who, who won that episode? I did. No, did. you didn't. You totally lost that. Did. No, you you're lost. totally wrong. Oh, who can eat the most meat? We who did. Who, can eat who the did the humiliation? First of all, Spenny and Who I did the humiliation? You did. You're First a liar. All, he's Spenny a liar. He's a pathological liar. We, Where's we the camera? We decide on who does the competition. He's a pathological liar. Can I talk, liar. please? Can I talk? First of all, Spenny and I decide who does the competition. Can you not talk? And That's we were going to. And I said, let's do the who can eat the most meat competition. <laughs> and next thing I know, Spenny's on his knees with KY all over his mouth. Oh, shut up. No, that is what the heck? No. We're talking about like. Carcasses, you know, meat, cows. I already stuff like know that. this is going to be my favorite show that we've done yet since we've. No, because this is. You're, mean, you bear responsibility for this, I, I have to tell you. I, there's a lot to talk about tonight. You guys are real friends. Well, we, we, we are, but. Have uh, been friends. I don't know if you're. Forever. Are you strained. It's strained. It's strained yeah, relationship. Spenny, but you've been actually, friends your whole life since you were fathers, kids, since you were little yeah, kids. Our fathers, our fathers were friends in the 40s um, until Spencer's father. It came out in 1942. <laughs> Supposedly, he had a, an affection that. for pugs. I honestly can't believe you're I, all adults. I have no These aren't 14 year olds. And, and you... father was an incredible man, and he loved him. And uh, the fact did that... I ever? Did your did your did your fathers play pranks on each other? Were they these outrageous? Well, Spenny's. Uh, Spenny's. No, 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 no. How are their speech therapy lessons coming? <laughs> 
You're the one that's... Well, that's the problem me. is I have a hard time talking about Spenny's dad because our family kind of just stopped being friends with him. <laughs> oh, stop. You know what I mean? Like, you know, the whole Spenny thing, like, you know, we... My family, we have a lot of charities that we support. Yeah. You know, like... And, uh, this is what you know, we deal with. This is what I deal with on a daily basis. And so the problem basis. is, is that... Almost everything he says is felonious. Is that the right word? Okay, who wears the camera? Okay, this is a picture he posted on the internet of That's me not true. as the bride marrying a turd. <laughs> you guys They're laughing. You guys split up. You guys and then started... this was my favorite. This okay. was me where he photoshopped my head on the gay, a gay parade uh, guy. That is not. That is totally untrue. I wish my body looked like I that. I swear to God, that is totally untrue. Spencer. I love, I love the fact that, because like, you guys started the show in Canada, did yeah. it for years that, there. Now it's on Comedy Central. Yes. Matt Stone, Trey Parker from South Park. Did they find you guys? You found them? How'd that happen? Uh, they, they actually, we, we were on, uh, it's a really long story. We did a pilot for USA Network. Um, in the States in like 99 and then they canceled our pilot while we were making it we ended up sending it back to Canada and CBC our you know it's like PBS here or BBC yeah. in Britain uh, picked up 26 episodes which you know is yeah it's huge it's, it's surreal oh yeah I think, I think 26 we're on, episodes oh, yeah. in a row we're on for like another couple of days or something like that I, I know yeah <laughs> well anyways uh, we just got really lucky. We were on Game Show Network in, you know, Monday at 4 a.m. in America because the president of Game Show Network was a huge fan with his family. Oh, his kids, yeah. And, and Matt and Trey ended up seeing the show. Because it's outrageous. The stuff you do is outrageous. Well, it's... Right? Uh, like, can I, I mean, say something on that note? Which is, uh, I, you know, I don't care if people say I'm kissing Tom's ass. I really don't care. I think the uh, word's licking. Licking, okay. I don't care. I prefer kissing. Uh, Tom, Tom is from Canada, and he's not shy about saying that. Yeah, but I told you that before the show started. Shut up. And I think that's terrific. Uh, what he did it really paved the way for idiots like Kenny and I and, and Jackass and all these other people. And I want to acknowledge that, especially on his show, because well, it's true. I love the show. I love what you guys are doing. I, when I see the meat thing, the very first thing I ever did when I had my show on Rogers Community Cable I was I took some time. meat. Let me tell you. And I, that was the first oh, yeah, yeah, bit I yeah. ever did, and I taped it to my head yeah. and walked around. Not mm -hmm. quite as... Uh, and as, you did uh, that great bit with the meat and the cup of coffee uh, what's, on sticks. What's funny about meat? Um, dead animal. Yeah, it's a dead animal. What's funny is and it's yeah. so, I don't have to it's tell so you. sad. <laughs> you have intimate relations well, with that I, animal. I, I would show you what's funny about meat, but I can't pull down my pants on television anymore. So actually, uh, well, you're not shooting IMAX, so I can't pull down my. Well, yeah, I want to surprise you guys, but I, as a uh, sort of an homage to one of your bits, you guys had an octopus on the head. Who could hold an octopus on your head? The longest uh, contest for the Don't longest. Don't even say that. You shouldn't say that because we Benny have an octopus on the roof tonight. Later on, if we want, we can Spenny, go. Spenny, Spenny play gets pissed don't... off because well. I, I dosed him with four hits of acid in that <laughs> episode. Really? Yeah. Yeah. No, we actually gave him like smiley face acid. It cost me twenty bucks a hit. And people are like, you know, I don't believe you gave him acid. We did a lot of acid. No, I don't know about a lot. You did. I did, maybe. Okay, so you basically but did a lot, and you just said you didn't do a lot. What There's, is this? You did a lot of are acid. You a lawyer? You did a lot of acid. I did some. Yeah. Okay. Uh, probably and you dosed me no with more acid. or less than and any, any me with stoner acid. at any school. So do you have the censors come in at uh, the network and say you can't do acid on the show? We're That's very lucky illegal. that way. We're very lucky that way. We we we've had very little interference, and I'm sure you experienced you, that, yeah, Rogers. I've seen, I've seen you do incredible things. You did the. the but I, it seems to me every time I wanted to do something, not on the Canadian Comedy Network, but once we went to MTV. Yeah. It was like hitting a wall, yeah. and it was just every single bit was a big argument. Comedy Central's to... not like that, yeah. I have to say, and I'm going to say this. Comedy Central's been incredible to us, yeah, actually. I have to say that, and I'm not kissing out. God, I'm a kiss ass. This That's is cool. What's okay, well, we're going to take a quick commercial break. We'll be back. I use in the a word second. loser personally. With, uh, <laughs> Kenny Hotz and uh, Spenny Rice and uh, Spencer Rice and uh, whatever you want, and uh, we'll keep talking. Stick around. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, you're gonna get, he's going to get so mad at me. Well, I punched him. <laughs>
Where's that shot? Yeah, it was like a mosquito landed on my It's the shoulder. Kenny show. It's, it's Has there been any, Kenny. any real injuries, physical, horrible injuries yes. that you've suffered? Uh, season... He gave me herpes. <laughs> I'm still waiting for my HIV test. Season one, I fell what? off of wait, the Wait, cow. wait, wait, wait a minute, wait a minute. Is that true? He, yeah. He gave what? you herpes? I was, okay, this is a true story and I swear to God. I was sleeping one night okay, about seven he years swear ago. To God? Listen, that's what hey, you know. don't interrupt. I was sleeping one night about seven years ago. I got really wasted, and I, I don't think people should get drunk and stoned and all that. So I don't really do that anymore. I got really wasted one night, Eliza and I woke just... up at about quarter after four in the morning, and Spenny, his tongue was in my mouth, and he was trying to make out with me. I, it was honestly, he had this huge sore on his mouth from a prostitute. <laughs> And it was seriously I'm, I, like one of the worst experiences of my life. Can I, I just say something? Was, he was calling me mommy, mommy, kaka poo poo, mommy. He was saying all these weird stuff. And he had a chicken, two chickens. He was like, had a voodoo was this, makeup this on. This was obviously part of the show. Right? No, this is like him. Oh, really? Tom, engage me in the conversation because no. there's a lot of slander no, coming it's not, out. No, it's not slander at all. Oh, no, I not swear at all. to God. Not that at that all. You did not try to kiss me that night at quarter Let's, after I, four in the I didn't morning. try to kiss you in Amsterdam. Oh, you did. I oh, have never Amsterdam. tried to kiss you. There's a whole other story. We were in Amsterdam oh. and we got wasted and he tried to kiss me in Amsterdam. <laughs> That is a true story. I have pictures. It's in the, the place show. To do it, right? I have pictures of Tom, us in Amsterdam. Help me out. That's help where it would happen. Let's look which at a quick. Is cool wait, can we look at a quick clip? Because I I want to show this clip. Because this. All right. For anyone who hasn't seen is the him show. Is kissing me in this, Amsterdam? I hope I'm so. I'm being bowled over right now. I, I hope mean, not. I'm not getting I don't know what I hope. Right I, I don't know what I want to see. Let's have a look at this because this really sets up the whole story. Here's my first bite. It's very good. And so it begins. What is that? Pepperoni? Mom. Oh. Mom. Call and see if Spenny quit. I don't feel so good. Oh, God, God. Go upstairs and lie down. It's over. I got poisoned. That 14. Okay. Can I say something? He said he won that competition. Who won that competition? Editing. You can't. You believe this is someone who believes everything he sees on this television. Guy's a pathological liar. How long liar. did it take to eat 15 pounds of meat? 14 pounds of meat. We did it in three days, right? Oh, I did that this morning in the bathroom. <laughs> no, like three days. Yeah, All our competitions. Two and a half as, days. Sometimes they're a couple yeah, days. Sometimes they're a week. You know. What's Anyways, that's a classic example. So there goes there there go the kissing story. Everything because everything he says is a lie, right? In a court of law, if someone is caught lying once, then. All their testimony is oh, pretty much thrown crap. out of court. We did, listen, we did the who could for competition, and he, it took him 90 days. Yeah. I don't, I don't even know if I can go there, really. But yeah. Don't, <laughs> yeah, don't bother. Don't, let, don't let bother. Me, let I me thought ask, I'd do well because I played Hungry Hippos Let me ask kid. you a question. Let me ask you a question. Please, I, please I, you ask may, me. I'd like you, to get a word in that twice. You so. may have just answered it, though. How, how do you... You've been doing it a few years now. Obviously, it has to get crazier and crazier and crazier. Is there is is there a line that you're not going to be able to cross? How? I'm not. He's asking me, right? Are you asking me? Sure. Yes. Tom, please. Yes. Uh, I don't think I don't think of it that way. I really don't think of it that way because then it just becomes a kind of gross thing, and it's a competition thing. And our, some of our competitions are like who can stand, go the longest without sitting, and that's, there's nothing gross about it. And it's one of my favorite episodes. And then we, we have never did that episode. Yeah, we did do that. Well, who can go the longest without sitting? We never yeah, did that. We did. No, we did not. We've done six. What are you shows. doing? Who this is the do one the that's... We have an episode on television. Google it. Google it. We I didn't will Google do it. it. No, we did. We, we do... did the show Who on TV. And you're the not gonna... sitting. Okay, this is. Can we thing. do it? He's doing the lying. I'm gonna lie about so, everything. No, we didn't. Make Spenny look like an idiot. No, we did. Who could do standing the longest? But we didn't do who could go the longest without sitting, right? It's sort of the same thing. Yeah. Yeah. Thank, you. Thank you. No, no, <laughs> sort, of, sort the of the same thing. thing. Tom is, You're insulting the host of the Tom show. Tom is a diabolical genius, a revolutionary messiah, which we all praise. To. He's just doing his job to make you not feel like a retard, which you are. You are retarded. Tom? You are. Tom? You are. Wait a, you know like you. Wait a second. You know what I like? You guys, I can't believe Spenny, you guys can I, I want to ask Spenny another question. Okay. You guys are hysterical. You guys have been friends for your whole lives. So is there ever a fear that maybe this 
constant sort of... No, it's a reality, not a fear. You I know ever you're feel going. like you might get in a real conflict? You won't be friends anymore? Yeah, Something I mean, I think it's, uh, the show has put a strain on the friendship. There's no question about it. Uh, and then the money and the show and the success and uh, South Park and Comedy Central. Well, really? Who okay. knows? The five years from now, five years from now, I wouldn't be surprised if we don't talk to you. Okay, well, we'll talk actually, about that. We'll talk about that when we come now, back real quick. I, I want to talk about the realities. I want to talk about too. But, okay, okay, we'll talk about that when we come back. The realities of the real stresses of your, and your, you know. your friendship. And Lisa Loeb is coming tonight. She's doing a performance. Stick around. It's going to be a lot of fun. Stick in. I'm sorry. I don't continue. even like Kenny this. versus Spenny. Continue. Are here. Um, do people call you Kenny versus Spenny? Do they say Kenny versus? They Spenny say Kenny here? versus retard. Kenny versus Jar Jar Binks with Down syndrome. <laughs> Kenny versus uh, David Schwimmer so, with a Ringo wig. So you're more the, you know, the, the, the are you more the are you more the aggressor and you take it a lot? You get you oh, kind of takes it. You get oh, you you, you get it? the brunt a lot more than I get. A lot. This is the concept and this is reality and this is why I'm proud of the show. I because am, I'm, in I'm, I'm a, shut I'm in up! It. I'm a somewhat shut up, sir. I'm a somewhat ethical person. I'm not saying I'm perfect. You're not. <laughs> did you or did you not? <laughs> I'm looking at the producer scribbling did down you? all I the edits they have. have. Sir is scribbling down all you the edits it. that we have to make. I'm not even. I, you know what? No, but I, 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 the, the I why the show works is because I don't cheat, and essentially he does. And a lot of people think the show's fake because uh, because he cheats, and I must. Know. I don't know what he's. How do you do. cheat? How does he cheat? I've never it, cheated. Name in my way. Life. He'll is there cheat. rules? You come up with a rule. He is a, a Machiavellian character. He is Enron. This he totally is. Wrong. Oh my God! Is, this is. I honest. This is insane. I will call my lawyer right now. What are some of these turning into? Some of the worst competitions that you've you've not you've uh, enjoyed the least. For me, the, the sleep, sleep the we least. did a sleep deprivation one where we went the longest without going to sleep, and I, I really, I thought it was going to be a lot easier than it was. It was very difficult. But the, the show Spenny hates usually are like, who can love more children? Who can be nicer to old people? Who can support? Homeless people. That, those are the shows that he hates, that he refuses to do. Support I heard you did one. People. Who could do the most crime? Or is that one you yeah, refused yeah, to no, do? We did. Uh, no, I should have refused to do it. And I, I will, uh, from this point forward, refuse to do any show that is outside of my ethical boundaries. And and I agreed to do that show. So what he, con he conned me or talked what, me into it. What and crimes? Sorry to, what crimes would you do? Well, I tried to do. Uh, you know, uh, Gandhi technically was a criminal, right? Uh, I tried to do crimes that make. <laughs> why is that funny? I just I think that's what people laugh at, actually. To do me. you know why there's no Halloween in India? Gandhi technically was a criminal. He was. Yeah. It's true. <laughs> hey, did, did you hear about? It? They just elected the new prime minister of India, Mahatma Kote. Really? <laughs> okay. Is that? I don't. I, I haven't been paying attention. Yeah. <laughs> Billy, you, uh, you. So, uh, so yeah, I don't like working outside of my moral framework. I, look, I'm never going to, I, I did cheat one episode, which was the cooking episode in season one. And we've done 63, 64, whatever it is of these shows. And I, I, res, I, I regret doing it. And I, it's not that I know the show's ridiculous and stupid, but I'm not going to, I essentially, we grew up together. He was the guy. Oh, my God. <laughs> he was the okay, guy. Okay, we're in the, the he was, let me finish. finish. He was shit. the guy Forget who this. pulled the fire this alarm so at school. And we're I told him, don't car. pull the fire alarm. We're in the car. Because the fire people Coming come. over. And they're we're in the car. We're driving down the 10. And he's like, does this jacket make me look like Fonzie? Fonzie's cool, I eh? never said that. You totally said that. Why would I say that? You said that. You think Fonzie's cool. This is not. A Fonzie jacket. You're right. It's a Michael Jackson jacket. That you is, are I, a loser. I acknowledge that. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> you're you on the way over. We're like, but I didn't buy it. You're like the Michael many, Jackson. I eat retrospect. You're, it's a Michael you're, Jackson. Jackson. We're on the way over. You're like to make this. I'm like, oh my god. Oh. I am Spencer Rice, yeah, yeah, yeah. Joseph Goebbels. Did the Goebbels. Joseph Goebbels, famous it's Nazi? Your, it's your no, wait a minute, wait a minute. Famous Joseph Nazi. Goebbels is his grandfather. Okay, wait. said that if the lie is big enough, you, people will believe it. Is and it, I actually believe how much there's a, a percentage of people out there on the other end of these cameras that will believe half the comes out of this guy's I, mouth. It's totally true. It's not. <laughs> Can I? No. Say
Cat. Uh, no, you okay, well, horse manure. Yeah, manure. Yeah, yeah. We have to. That's we. We have a very hard time editing around here. Sometimes it, it may mean we don't make the feed tonight, right? Three edits. We can't make the feed. Okay, so let's try to. Yeah, uh, I don't want to be the Basically, guy that's saying you can't show. say. You know. I think it's ironic that I'm the one. That's yeah, swearing. I know. Cause, 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 <laughs> but I'm getting <laughs> reprimanded for I'm saying. Oh wait, wait Lisa, I'm not saying. I want to be the voice okay. of reason here, but okay, uh, you know, we're not going to make get a feed tonight. TMZ. Lisa Loeb's here. I love Lisa Loeb. Yeah, this is awesome. Okay, good. Well, we'll keep talking. We'll all talk. We'll I'm keep sorry. Talking. I have Lisa to apologize for spending. No, no, it's okay. Usually, it's okay. I don't bring them along. For these <laughs> Let me get Lisa. I don't want to leave her on the cold. I'm getting Lisa. Lisa just arrived at the door. Yeah. Hey, Lisa, come on in. Okay. Hello, Milwaukee. Um, Hey Lisa, hey. how are you? I'm, I'm a little sick actually. You have a, I'm, you're I'm, sick? I'm glad to be here. Yeah. You have Not a cold? Touch your hand. Oh, it's okay. I have a. Nice thing, to see yeah. you. You too. See Thanks you. for having me. I over. can get sick I, if I get a hug from Lisa yeah? Lobo. I'll yeah? get sick for that. Come uh, on in. Uh, yeah, Do you have you a cold or? I have a cold and oh. a cough. I appreciate and, you coming. Uh, thank you. Kenny Good versus time. Spenny are here, who I know you love. I love them. Lisa hey, Loeb, guys. everybody. Hey. How are you doing? Wow. Hey guys. Hey. You know what? You. Hey. Oh. She's got the cold. Oh, uh -oh. <laughs> I have. Oh, I've pure. Yeah, you sit down. Have, have a seat, Lisa. Yeah. Oh, my oh my God, Spenny's like own. Howard Hughes. Lisa, you uh, you could you couldn't have arrived at a better time. Why? What were you talking about? Meat? <laughs> he was. Uh, no, I was. It was just seemed like it was. It was. It was. It was ramping up to a place that you know it was. It was exciting. It was fun. But, that doesn't uh, surprise me. This, these guys. I was watching them on Game Show Network. Yeah, really? you were. Yeah, I heard you that. were on the Game Show Network for. for well, a while. Show network for a while, but then the show got canceled. It was just too dirty. You, uh, now Lisa, you, I'm surprised. You. I was surprised. I don't that's know why. The I was girl that's some? laughing at everything. Thank you. you I got to put this on my lips. Did I kiss your hands? Spenny gargles you Purell. Put he is a total germaphobe. Spenny is a germaphobe. Oh really? Yeah. I mean, he's you know, a germaphobe. Spenny, why are you a germaphobe? I'll take him away. The first thing away. that Lisa does is hand Kenny and Spenny some Purell. I know. I'm like the Jewish mother. I'm like, can you guys just eat? What else do you need? I have everything here. You have matzah. I wish I have matzah actually. Could you guys purify yourself? I that do. is unbelievable. It's, you know, it's I've, Israeli triscuits. I know, wait, I get so it. So you brought I'm some matzo ball soup? This, okay. I'm so small. I get That's it. very binding. So you're actually going to play a song for us tonight, Lisa? So Yoga? At some point, you're going to actually play a song yeah, for us? Yeah, I will play a song for you. I, no, I was sick, so I've so been eating Nagila? crackers. This is what I found in my house for crackers. Oh, really? Makes a really good pizza, whole wheat matzo pizza. Can we yeah, auction that off that on eBay and keep the money? Yeah, you can auction that. Wait, I just want to make sure the thermometer. Can we sell your uh, matzo ball soup you can mix? and auction that, and I also brought this. Oh, and really? And keep the money? I'm yeah. keeping use my it to buy new equipment? I have, uh, I have some, uh, I have a gift for you as well. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah. OK, good. Oh, awesome. I Thanks. do. But I don't think we can actually do it on television. So we met before <laughs> once, right? We met we like did. We met on the street in New York City. We met in a restaurant in New York City. And, and, and there's biscuits involved. Yeah, I was at Bubba's having That's breakfast. True. Yeah. Living in New York City. Yeah, down in New York. And you were nice enough to come up and say hello to me, I which like, I was. Uh, excuse me, blah, blah, blah. Extremely... I'm a fan. And he was like, No, that's not what happened. I was. Uh, yes, you, he went like this. He went, I was nervous. I, was like, I went back to my table and I was like, I can't believe I just said hello to him. No. That's so embarrassing. You intimidated me and made me nervous, is I what was it was. Embarrassed. Really? Well, that's, I think, what, is that what happens? I mean, yeah. you, you see someone you recognize and you go up to them and then I think yeah. both people don't know what to do, I guess. I'd only I know, been living in know. America for about six months or something like the that. The United States of America And then all of a sudden so Lisa different. Loeb comes up to me. It's like, what am I supposed to do? I'm here. I have eggs. I was by myself. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Introduce me to your friends, Tom. Yeah. 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 I, I, I don't know. I just, yeah, it was like the neighborhood place and I was getting biscuits with my brother and, and it just, I don't know. You biscuits? just say, hey. Biscuit, yeah, biscuits. Okay, cool. You know, it's like not cookies, thing? but yeah, southern. It's a southern thing, but it's like Spenny, a southern breakfast. Spenny place. hates biscuits. You okay, do? well, we're going to take, uh, yeah. take a commercial. We're going to take a commercial. This is exciting. I, I mean, I'm having a great time. We've biscuits got Kenny and Spenny and Lisa Loeb here tonight. Lisa's going to play a song. We've done we've done audio stuff today to oh, yeah? test the audio, so it's going to sound awesome. I Stick hope around. So. We'll be right back after this. <laughs>
1994, mm -hmm. so and it probably shot it in like two, uh, 1993. So. About and you look years. exactly the same, which is amazing. And the thing that's interesting is that's the first. Is it? Is this true? What I was told that is the only show uh, song to go to number one that was not. Uh, yeah, that was not. Not was signed no to a record yeah. company in history. Yeah. Well, yeah. Supposedly. Number one song. Right. You, what, you no recorded record in, deal. Your, in the basement or? In an apartment in New York City on 52nd Street in a two bedroom apartment. Ooh, New York. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Come on. We recorded it in New York City. It's an equal opportunity. <laughs> we put down our luggage and we said, I, yeah, I put down my um, bags and I said, this is my kind of town. I love New York, actually. Yeah. No, so we recorded it there in an apartment and, uh, and, and actually we recorded the tambourine in Los Angeles. The record executive had us fly to LA to Was it a special the tambourine? Oh, it was. A Los Angeles I think the cartage tambourine? for the percussion instruments was more expensive than but how the cool entire. It's a tambourine from HR Puffin stuff. Oh my gosh, I've been looking But how it on sort YouTube. of ahead of its time is that, really? Because now people oh, are doing music, yeah. putting it up online. Sorry, it's no talking, please, over there. I know you're talking extremely loudly over there right now, Tony. I know you like to get your, your dibs in, but I'm talking to Lisa Loeb here. <laughs> oh, the, guy's, the cameraman's screaming over here. It's like he thinks he's at, like, you know, well, what's going on? It was a little loud. Yeah, what, what's that loud? Was that ridiculous? Canada anymore, man. No, it was ridiculous. You know, tap somebody or something like that, you know? Come on. Uh, Sorry, I know, we can edit that part out, can we? No? But no, I mean, was that, was that? Uh, um, it was very, it, it, it never happened. That never happened before. And it was good, because when you make something, you guys, notice when you make something and you get to make it the way you want it and it becomes successful then usually at least you have a little bit more freedom to make more things the way you want to make them I know that <laughs> that's what these guys started their yeah. show in Canada and you do what you want to do, do. As well, yeah. yeah now I'm doing it now I'm doing it on the internet yeah. exactly. you try to do your show and things happen. yeah well so but the so, number one song in America yeah. what's that like did the record companies all come and they all wanted to they all came over they fed me biscuits records they did, gave me candy did a lot Kid of candy. Rock call you uh, this was pre-Kid Rock, right? Kid yeah, it was pre-Kid Rock, you're right. Oh, wow. yeah. yeah, he didn't call me, no. It was Baby but Rock. But somebody else called me, Warren Beatty called me. Did he really? Yeah, he did. He called me, he said that he liked the way I enunciated. Oh he calls, that what he, that's what he does. So that's what Tony Randall says, enunciate. <laughs> did you fall enunciate. for that? You didn't. I, I, Please tell me you didn't. I mean, I didn't, I just said, I, wow, I thought Warren it was a Beatty joke. called I said, I like the way you Yeah, I didn't think, it was. think it was actually Warren Beatty called. Could it have been? So wait, what's was, the song you're going to perform tonight, then? I'm going to play a very old song. Actually, I'm playing it in honor of the Canadians. Oh, really? Oh, that's nice. Yes, the sorry. Beaver Club. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's what they call it. <laughs> exactly. Um, I'm playing it in honor of y'all, the right, Canadians, nice. um, because I'm an honorary Canadian. Yes. Because my brother-in-law is Canadian. No, but I used to go and play in Canada all the time. And this is a song called Hurricane. It's on a record I just put out called The Purple Tape, which I put out back in 1992, back in the olden days of yore. And I just re-released it finally on a CD because it was only on a cassette. Okay. So this is that song. I'm going to play it. I'm excited. I'm, I'm just excited. looking at it like I'm excited to see if the, as, if the as, microphone works. As yeah. Canadians, we would totally want to thank you for polluting our Great Lakes. It's an honor well, to thank have you, you destroy our environment. Thank you. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I Come on, Kenny, let her, let her play the song without well, bringing the mood down. I, honestly, on, I, can't she, yeah, I can't believe she... Okay, well, let's have, a, let's have a listen, then. This is exciting. Should I go play? Yeah, yeah, Okay, absolutely. I'm going to go play. Yeah. Excuse me, y'all. Go play. We're going to okay. listen to a song here. I'll watch your matzah. Watch my... You can have some. If you, Kenny it's, is it's going to do everything toasted. he can possibly That's think Yiddish of analogy. to destroy the mood. That's Yiddish for, for tushy. Yeah. <laughs> This is a big moment for us here, Kenny. You're, 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 you know, we're, you, you, you don't bring up the Great Lakes and stuff. First of all, are they our Great Lakes or are they He totally great? wanted me to say that. I had nothing to do um, with that. They're all right lakes. You Lake fine. Ontario. Uh, Ontario area. Look at this t-shirt. Show your t-shirt. Seriously. What? Oh, yeah, Ontario. Seriously. Sorry. Canada. Is it Canada shirt? Yeah. Are you guys going to get me DVDs or what? Ontario. It's a trillium, which is a flower. Which is the symbol of the great province of Ontario. Okay, let's let's listen to Lisa for a second. Shut up, yeah. What's the name of this song, Lisa? This song, this song is called Hurricane. Okay. Mm. Lisa Loeb, everybody, playing Hurricane. Actually, let me put the capo on. That would be good. The capo? What's a capo? It's this thing right here, and it's going to make it easy for me to play it in higher key. It's a mob boss uh, enforcer. <laughs> <laughs> it is actually, or well, there's other things it could be too. But I'm not going to go into that. Um, yeah, it's a song called Hurricane. Hurricane. Hur yeah. It's a little bit. Skeleton boy 
by the side of the road He warned me, he told me He said, there's this woman, she's a hurricane She will heal your heart up She is hurrying Just run away, go suffocate and choke your own cry. Go where the water, where the water seeps from the pink sky. But behead this woman, she's a hurricane She will heal your heart up She is hurrying Remember your reflection in a pool in a puddle And the leaves sped top speed towards me And my image was muddled I'm a light-headed wonder, she said. Don't you see my mind slow down? I'm a light-headed wonder. Don't you see my mind slow down? Slow down. I've compassion for strangers. An affinity for danger Won't you be my sacrifice? I'm a light-headed wonder, she said Don't you see my mind slow down? Yeah, for you Now you're a headless woman, you're a hurricane You will heal my heart up no, I will heal my own heart up Cause you are hurting Yeah, I'm a sunburn slap upon your arm I'll twist you till you break And you're a hurricane Brick walls never looked so good. Lisa Loeb, uh, the purple tape, right? Yeah. We'll be right back after this commercial. Stick around. Yeah! <laughs> Ooh. Why, why oh my gosh, okay, this has been a great, Lisa, that was an amazing, uh, beautiful song, Hurricane, on the purple tape. Now you guys, I, uh, Kenny and- Spenny didn't Kenny like it. Spenny. I thought, I'm like blown away. Oh, on no, 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 come on. I was like, is that the musician? Come here, come here, guys. Stop putting Lisa on the spot. Solo Lisa, Lisa, we're going to get these guys away the from you. Do you want to hold on one second, okay? Yeah, I'm going to stay. I want to show you guys the new ladder. Follow oh, me I'm over here. I'm going to stay inside. I'm going to take my temperature. In honor of Kenny right. versus Spenny, who have had octopus oh, yeah. uh, on head competitions and things like this, we oh. actually ran out, we busted the budget, and we got an octopus today. Oh, my God, that's crazy. And I thought we could do, like, come on up here. This is our new ladder. We got a new ladder. Come on up Spenny won't go. I'm not putting an octopus Come on up here. Are you out of your... Look at this. This is our new ladder. Square. We've never been on the roof before. This is a, oh my God, look at that view. It's in the incredible. history of Whoa! the show, this is the first time we've come up on the roof. Hop over quickly, you don't have a lot of time. Come on. Hop right. over. Right. And, uh, oh, oh gosh, no, God, it's not That's supposed to. Come on, hurry up here, hurry up. <coughs> this is the, this is, we went out, we got this octopus. Um, and uh, you Can know, we were thinking. I'll make you, I'll, come I'll, on. I'll, Come on over here, over this side. We I want will to kick your ass right now. No, don't, don't you dare. I was come thinking on. in honor okay, of. We wore octopuses. I was thinking in honor of Kenny versus Spenny, we could have a poll, an online poll on the front page of TomGreen.com. Who wears the octopus better, <laughs> Kenny Let Spenny or start. Spenny? Tom, Tom does. Or the camera guy does. Kenny, so or Kenny does, but no, it's not honestly, Spenny. I don't want to joke. We did a competition who can wear an octopus on their head the longest. We had these rotting 
things on our head. I will never I mean, ever like, do, touch who wears anything. It? Oh, well, you do it. You who do it. wears a better you penny spin? You're the crazy guy. I know, but I, I was thinking that you guys would have the... No. I mean, I'll put it on my head. I mean, if I have to put it on my head, I'll put it on my head. I'll put it on my head. And you know what? I love that's sushi. Why... <laughs> oh, well, yeah, there we go. You're actually eating it. Oh, that's awesome. Okay. I need some more Okay, maybe perhaps this is enough. Okay. I don't want to be famous. Hey, guys, so guys, come here for a second. Come here for a second. Let me let me put my arms around you, I'm too. I'm so happy. Canadian, the octopus. Canadian so heroes. Incredible. Just, I don't want to be near the octopus. You really don't like it's my orange juice. Don't Thanks swear. for coming on the show. We'll be right back after this. Stick around. Thanks, guys. That Tom was awesome. Green. Spenny hates him. Oh, I see why you don't like it, actually, now that I mentioned it. I'm not sure why I did that, actually. <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm actually running over to do the Carson Daly show, which will air in a couple of days. <laughs> I'm going to smell like octopus. Are you going to get your nails I'll bring together? the octopus. Lisa Loeb, thank you so much you. for coming on the show tonight. Thank you. Yeah, that was uh, almost... <laughs> <laughs> that was the most professional feeling moment, I think, in the history of this broadcast in front of that brick wall listening to that beautiful song. Oh, thank you. Uh, thank, thank you. It was amazing. Kenny. Is that good? Yeah. Kenny. He didn't like it. Thank you. Thank you so much, guys. <laughs> Achante. And I'm really excited to, to know that you guys are now living in Los Angeles. Yeah. Hopefully we'll see you. It's been you're... 10 years, but yeah, we're still living here. You know, I didn't thanks know for calling. Lived in LA. Yeah. <laughs> Hopefully we'll see you guys around Crazy. here or we can hang out soon or something like that. Well, Spenny's appearing on the next episode of Comps. You might actually uh, recognize Cops. him. <laughs> Good? Good? <laughs> I don't know, man, anymore. I'm tired. <laughs> A little drunk. <laughs> <laughs> Kenny, Spenny, Lisa Loeb, everyone. Thanks, Thanks for coming in. Tomorrow Thank night, you. Norm MacDonald is going to be here. Oh, Stick around. Tonight. See you tomorrow, I meant to say.